Democrats have been calling for California Rep. Nancy Pelosi to step down from her position as House Minority Leader for months now, win or lose we have to have the change, New York Rep. Kathleen Rice said in January, referring to a change in House leadership after the midterm elections. I do think we have this real breadth and depth of talent within our caucus and I do think it's time to pass a torch to a new generation of leaders and I want to be a part of that transition said top-ranking House Democrat Rep. Linda Sanchez last year. Pelosi and the rest of the aging House leadership have made it impossible for younger members of the party to take over, which has no doubt contributed to the perception that the party is out of touch, wrote the liberal vice in a piece titled, It's Time for Nancy Pelosi to Go. Pelosi, of course, is desperate to hold on to power and is doing everything she can to deflect criticism. Unfortunately for her, Pelosi often says some things that are pretty cringe-worthy and that leave many of us wondering if she's quite literally losing her mind. Such a moment occurred recently during an interview with Rolling Stone magazine. After being asked if she was ever tempted to step away from her position, Pelosi said calls for her to relinquish her power are sexist. I think some of is it a little bit on the sexist side, although I wouldn't normally say that, Pelosi began. Then, only a sentence later. Pelosi managed to give more ammunition to those saying it's high time she moved on, except it's like, really? Has anyone asked what's his name, the one who's the head of the Senate? She said, yes, Pelosi just forgot the name of Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, a man she sees regularly. After an aide reminded Pelosi of his name, she corrected herself, McConnell, she continued, I mean, He's got the lowest numbers of anybody in the world. Have you ever gone up to him and said, how much longer do you think you'll stay in this job? Apostrophe. Ah, Pelosi, please don't ever change. And please don't step aside from House leadership. Conservatives everywhere are counting on it.